My health is starting to fail. I don't have the money to deal with my health problems. I'm a continual failure on losing weight. And my YouTube channel went from 8 million views a month to 200,000 views a month. I live off the charity of others. I'm bigger now than I've ever been. I have trouble sleeping. Um, I don't take care of myself the way I should. Sugar controls my life 110%. I probably have untreated diabetes. And I basically have to play games for a living that I fucking hate. Wings of Redemption is a lot of things. But he's not an idiot. I'm not fucking an idiot. I'm literally a not. He's not a finger sniffer. I want to see myself why he sniffs those fingers. I don't sniff my fucking fingers, dude. I don't. And he's definitely not interested in exercise. Exercising isn't going to do shit. And you're a fucking idiot if you think so. Jordy Jordan was once a prominent figure in the Call of Duty YouTube community, going by his gaming alias, Wings of Redemption. Jordy quickly rose to fame as he was one of the first creators to provide high definition gameplay for games such as Call of Duty Modern Warfare and World at War. However, as he climbed higher in the YouTube rankings, his abrasive personality became a lot more apparent. I'm just trolling you, chill. It, 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 yeah, yeah, whatever. I hope your family dies in automobile wreck. Jordy is currently known for his infamous disaster streams, as well as his tendencies to ban his viewers for the slightest infractions. Ban the guy asking to play COD, a asking to change games is a bannable offense. Now ban anybody who says the number 900 to in this stream, please. Ban anybody who says they have ad block. Uh, ban anybody that knows what I said. As a result of this toxicity, Wings has amassed an army of trolls who not only mess with him in the virtual world, but have also extended their efforts to messing with him in the real world by sending hookers, the police, and multiple food deliveries to his doorstep. Because I've had 32 attacks on my PlayStation account, I've had at least 8 attempts to get into my bank account, I've had my phone number leak, my driver's license leak. Live streaming is clearly not an enjoyable experience for Mr. Jordan, so why doesn't he just quit? Well the thing is, he can't. Or at least he says he can't. Changing careers will just make me feel like shit because like, you gotta understand like I've lived the last 15 years of my life with like some sort of like stance where I was actually important to just give that all up and just go back into like a situation where like you're just another person in the in the feed tr feeding trough. There are also an endless amount of highlight channels, the most popular one being Sean Ranklin, which has become quite a meme. Now, it's the same dude, dude. That's Sean Rankin, dude. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. Yeah, Sean Rankin. Sean Rankin. Shout out to Sean Rankin. Sean Ranklin. Shout out to Sean Rankin. Shout out to uh, Sean Rankin, my dude. Shout out to Sean Rankin. Shout out to Sean Rankin. Is this a proper time to say shout out Sean Rankin? I noticed that Wings was most happy when he played along with the memes, but he only did this rarely. So I went undercover and paid him a visit. I expect. Why you run with the memes? Because most of them are dumb. Wings, if you get this ace, you have to sniff your fingers. Why? I don't actually sniff my fingers. Do it for the memes. Do it for the memes. <laughs> Wings believes that the majority of his audience are all trolls, but I don't think that's the case. Many of the viewers are here for the memes, and it can't be just me that thinks Wings of Redemption has provided some of the best content on YouTube and Twitch. So grab your banquet meal, crack open a Pepsi, and enjoy the Wings of Redemption show. What if being fat was a stage in my life and not my entire life? Over the course of his YouTube career, Wings made many attempts to lose weight, but found very little success. Wings believed there was only one option remaining, which he called... Last hoorah. If I failed this, I'd die. I'd die in a bed alone. Operation The Last Hoorah was a weight loss surgery, which involved cutting out 85% of his stomach. But this wasn't cheap. In 2017, Geordie set a donation goal for over $20,000, which would go towards covering the cost of the surgery. This was a good investment, of course. The operation had a 90% success rate, after all. Surgery has a 90% success rate. That means... That means out of 100 people, 90 people are going to lose weight after getting this procedure. I had a bariatric surgery tell me in my face that there's no way I can avoid losing weight with this surgery. $20,000 to play video games sounds like a great deal. But for Jordy Jordan, the road to 20k was not going to be an easy one. You see, at this time, Wings had a troll infestation. And these guys were set on making his live streaming experience a living hell. Which begged the question. Why didn't he just take his account offline? 
Look here. Look here! Look, listen! Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. It seemed like there was a new meme every few months. The trolls noticed that Wings reacted negatively to the name Richard. So they began terrorizing him with his new nickname. Why are you guys keep saying Richard? Remember, always ban anybody that calls me Richard. My name's not fucking Richard, dude. Pictures, look, look Pepsi Richard. Listen, Richard. My name's not Richard. Hey, Richard. Playing with viewers also became impossible. Practically everyone Geordie invited would eventually out themselves as being a troll by team killing him live on air. Uh, should I do it or no? Well, come on, man! Yeah. No, he just team killed me! Bro, look here, look, listen, bro. We need a bottle. Uh, no, right. I'm team killing you right the fuck now. I don't give a shit. I'm team killing you now. And even went as far as bribing his teammates with fake gift cards in exchange for messing with him in game. He said, I'll pay you 30 PS in a team game. He's offering to pay you to team kill. He's not gonna pay you. Why do you keep fucking shooting me? Seriously. I really need to make this fucking money. I really wanted to get this fucking surgery, man. I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> but even Wings acknowledged that the trolls were beneficial to his live streams, despite their tendency to leave troll donations. Uh, there's one thing I can't thank the trolls for, turning me into the biggest console streamer on Rainbow Six. I did. Puppy pals, here's an, hour, here's an hour's worth of labor. Now give me an hour's worth of complaining about things. Five months and about a dozen disaster streams later, Wings was finally able to reach his donation goal. However, viewers became concerned when a few months had passed and there was still no news of any surgery booking. What viewers didn't know was that there was still one last obstacle in Geordie's way. You have the surgery scheduled. I don't have it scheduled right now, but it's getting scheduled. Because I, I, um, what ended up happening is like my sleep schedule is really fucked up right now and I haven't been able to correct it. Our sleep schedule isn't a fucking excuse. It is an, it is an excuse. It, like, look here. What does it matter? It took a miracle, but thankfully at 32 years old, Geordie was able to correct his sleeping schedule and the donation money finally went to its intended purpose. Wings eventually caught a flight to Mexico and went through with the operation, which brought the community together to celebrate such a great achievement. All right, I'm sure everybody's got tons and tons of questions. I basically, the only thing I could think about at that time was the saying Woody said to me. It only takes 30 seconds of courage to change your life. 20 seconds of bravery, Wings of Redemption. 20 seconds of bravery. I put it in my head, I'm like, I'm not stopping this. I'm gonna stare at the floor. I think it's gonna change my life for the better. One very long digestive tract later. But it comes to your ask, I'm not losing weight anymore. Right. Surgery's failed, no use to talk about it. I know why the surgery didn't work. You don't gotta tell me why, why it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. I like to fucking eat. Despite the 90% success rate, Wings managed to beat the effects of the surgery by consuming enough food to stretch his stomach back out, reversing any positive effects it had on his weight loss. Some say the donations went to waste, but I disagree. Wings was able to bring the community together once more to create a meme that will last forever. Oh, fucking Richie, mate. Congrats, mate. So fucking keen that you have beat the fucking weight loss surgery. What a fucking legend. You, sir, are a mad cunt. Big ups, you fucking pimp. What a legend. Straight up mad as cunt. Richard, you're a damn beast, bro. Congrats on everything, man. So happy for you, dude. So, so happy. Congrats on beating the surgery, Richard. Congrats for beating the surgery, Richard. Big up, Pim. Congrats, Richard, for beating the surgery. Big ups, Pim. Yo, congrats on beating the surgery, Richard. You great. Yo, congrats on beating the surgery, Richard. Big ups, Pim. Congrats on beating the surgery, Richard. Big ups, Pim. Congratulations. Hey, Jordy, is this your last hoorah? Huh, what do you mean? Many viewers praised Jordy for going through with the surgery. But this didn't mean that the trolling had come to an end. 
This happened to get worse after viewers discovered that there was still well over $10,000 left in surgery funds. Trudy was now faced with one question. Where was the remaining 13 k Look here, Richard, where's the 13 k That extra 13 k is in case I go to Mexico and I come back with a, you know, my liver cut open or something like that, or my stitches burst or something goes wrong where I'm in the hospital for a month at a time racking up hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of bills while having to keep my house being paid for. Geordie was lucky that he didn't come out of the surgery with any excessive hospital bills. So viewers asked for a new breakdown of what the funds were going towards. I had 13 k left, and then I paid taxes out of that 13 k so that's what I have left. It's like six or seven thousand dollars. And I'm not sure like Holmes. But what did he buy for six to seven thousand dollars not too long after? A 2014 Mustang, red with a black racing stripe, the V6. But cars like this sell for up to 16 grand. So how did Wings manage to get his hands on one for less than half the price? Salvage title. So it's really fucking cheap. Because that's one of the first questions I asked. Like how how does a how does a car that would should be fourteen or fifteen thousand dollars? end up at this price. Simpletons like you and I are generally advised to avoid salvage title vehicles. Wings on the other hand had a superpower. An ability so powerful, it almost seemed untrue. My superpower is I can drive any car and tell you exactly what's wrong with that motherfucker. But Geordie's spider senses must not have been tingling that day. Because if he knew what happened in that car, he certainly wouldn't have bought it. It seems that when people are in car accidents, they shit themselves. Really was so, shit in? It was shat in, yes. Biohazard cleaning, that's when someone shits themselves in their car. What type of moron would buy a V6 fucking Mustang, let alone a salvage titled Mustang? Naturally, viewers were concerned that the remaining surgery funds were being wasted. And Wings didn't put up a persuasive case to convince them otherwise. You could, you should scam people into donating for skin removal surgery, then pocket the money and quit streaming. Uh, no, ain't ain't one dollar of surgery funds bought this Mustang because all that surgery funds have been gone. Like there is no more surgery money left. I took the, I took the money out for the skin surgery. I put it in a savings account. I could consider it out, and almost everything else went to taxes. Viewers were not buying into the narrative that the remaining funds were going towards a future skin removal surgery, and they were correct considering that Wings would never meet the criteria for this type of operation. Wings would also go on to say that he needed the car for when he would eventually enroll into schooling, but he never gave an exact date on when this would happen. I'm going to be EMT, which is about six months of schooling. How am I going to get to school if my trucks broke down every other week? These are the same motherfuckers I'll come in here and like, why aren't you going back to school? Motherfucking school costs 15 grand. I, ha I haven't given up on school, man. Why do you say this? Life has its ups and downs. With no evidence of any excessive hospital bills, no skin removal surgery, and no records of any schooling, it was hard not to believe that the 13K went towards that salvage title Mustang. Like, I'm not afraid of a salvage title. I'm gonna probably eat those words. Yeah, I'm thinking about actually selling the Mustang because like, I don't like it that much. I'd rather have the money back. Honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't buy it. And this is where we really start to see why Wings was awarded multiple gold medals for his performance in mental gymnastics. This is a rebuilt title. It's not worth a whole lot of money and you never can sell it for a whole lot of money. But I don't plan on selling it. Would you be looking to get for the Mustang if you were to sell it? Like eight grand. I bought it for six, but I've put in, I've probably put two thousand dollars into it since then. Cause like when I buy a used car, I change all the fluids. I change the transmission fluid, the coolant. I change the brake fluid. Um, <clears throat> I change the oil. To Jordy's surprise, changing the fluids in that salvage title Mustang didn't increase its value by two thousand dollars. But after figuring out that he wouldn't be able to flip the car for a profit, he came up with a new genius way of getting rid of that Mustang. I think I want to upgrade to a V8 Mustang. Local Ford dealership got a, um, a 2018 GT base in with the 10 speed. They want 32.3 for it. I probably can get them down to 29 just by talking. And then like I could sell my my Mustang for six or seven thousand dollars. And then if I save my money up and put another five with it, that will put it down to like 17 and then finance 17 Wait. for five years. Jordy. 
The viewers tried their best to deter Wings from trading in his old Mustang and taking out a loan to upgrade to the V8 model. There were also some thoughtful viewers who brought up points he may not have considered. <laughs> Can you fit in a Mustang? I mean, I, I fit in it fine. There's, prob there's probably more room in that Mustang than there is in my truck. Why not buy a brand new affordable car? Because there's no... Th there is a car that you can buy brand new for around $8,000, but I would never drive that Mitsubishi piece of shit. Jordy, as a real fan, I'm surprised you're investing in a Mustang. Seems like with your house situation plus skim service for school, sports car isn't the best investment. Unfortunately, the viewers couldn't talk any sense into Jordy. He had already made up his mind and traded in that V6 Mustang at a loss. Because bitches don't give a fuck if you got a V8 or V6. Behind me is my 2617 Ford Mustang. Well, the reason I went and bought another Mustang is because, like, the rear axle of my Mustang started to fail. What do I need a car for? To impress all the bitches in Wendy's. What the fuck you think? But of course, he wouldn't keep this new Mustang for very long, as he ended up trading that one in too for a new truck. So to sum this whole situation up, we may not ever know the exact location of that XS13K, but my guess is that it was converted to cash, handed to a used car dealer, and now sits in the safe of a local Ford dealership. That fucking Mustang GT ain't gonna pay for itself. Big up Liquid Richard. I don't come in here and ask me how my day is and shit like that. I don't care about that. I cry because it hurts my fucking feelings, dude. Like my stomach hurts. Like my stomach hurts. Hey, this is my job, man. This is why I put food on the table. Real talk. Sleep all goddamn day, every day. Enemy AC 130, above. In this chapter, we're going back to the golden era of Call of Duty and Xbox Live. In 2010, Geordie co founded a podcast known as Painkiller Already, or PKA. Although he is no longer a part of the show, the things he has said on this podcast continue to haunt him. It's day! To this day. Let me say this, if my kids grow up to be gay, I'm beating the shit out of them. Really? That'll, that'll beat them straight. Yeah, that'll make them straight. Trust me. <laughs> no, look here. There, there's two choices in life. Wings. You pretend you're straight, or I beat you to death. PKA67 is probably the most iconic episode, which features fellow YouTuber, The Syndicate Project. And the guy is known for being the best Call of Duty Zombies player on the planet. Anyway, during the show, for hours and hours, Wings is wildly disrespectful to this guy. See, I'm to just me, gonna say this. You're talking to a guy who's probably four times the multiplayer th than you are. Now, Syndicate would respond with the single most insulting line you could ever say to Wings of Redemption. Like, I haven't played you, so you, I know you'd slam me down in, like, most of the games. But, like, I could I could put up a fight against, you know, in, like, Cod Foreman of 2, World of War. The thing about Geordie is that he's very sensitive about what people think about his gaming ability. So much so that he's tied it to his self-worth? Insulting my gaming skill is a perma-ban, period. I don't care if they're a subscriber, a mod, or anything. If they ever say anything about my gaming skill, please just ban them. So what better way to prove your self-worth than to challenge the guest of your show to a Call of Duty 1v1, live on air? What, you wanna go M16s on BOG right now? That, that could go. Get on, it's 1v1. Uh, so they have the 1v1, and wait, what happens again? <laughs> I lost to uh, the Syndicate Project, and I won be one on Bog. Play the same fucking games over and over and over again every day. Fuck! Why the fuck you scream that shit? Just gonna, Just gonna be shit after that. Just gonna be shit after that. My day is shit. It was your idea. Just gonna be shit after that. Just gonna be shit after that. I don't give a fuck. Please cancel the stream. I do not want to hear these fucking talk. Doing controller to a beat. I'm a fat dude. I broke my controller. I'm a fat dude. I'm a fat dude. What fucking excuses did I make? I'm not fucking afraid. Said Woody set the rules up wrong. I'm not trying to blame Woody. I'm a little bit blaming Woody here. Grumpy because I need actually, to be perfectly honest, it's hurt me sexually. You know, I'm so stressed out, I don't even want to have sex. Insulting my gaming skills is a perma You come in here and you troll again. Worst decision you've ever made. Every time I go back to the Syndicate 1v1, huh? part of the, the whole thing do you regret? Um... A lot of stuff happened. I regret not winning. <laughs> right. Don't you see that what was so bad about that wasn't the fact that you lost the game, but the fact that you lost the game with poor sportsmanship. That. 
Uh, no, no. I would probably react the same way. <laughs> you, you tried to bribe that motherfucker, and there was all that crazy. I did not try to bribe it. Like that that Things came to him and said, look, we'll do this. We'll do a 1v1. You throw it. You uh, Look, I'm going to win anyway because I'm Wings of Redemption. But you throw it just to lock that in. Then I'll keep... I think... What did he want the split to be? It was it to his... See, see, that's the best part. Wings would keep the lion's share and get the victory. That's not how a bribe works. That's not how <laughs> bribes work! Say it again, Wings. Don't feel the shame if you got a jerky shit to your sister. It turns out one of Geordie's childhood friends has secretly been a part of the troll army. And there have been some slanderous allegations against Wings. And the trolls found this clip in this old PKA episode, and they started bullying him with it, right? Saying that he's, like, into his sister or whatever. Now, his sister now is, like, 23 years old, but at the time, she was 13. Okay. I guess. But very um, obviously in the context of a joke somewhere. It was very much yeah, a joke. Yeah, very obviously a joke. So... On this discord of trolls that, you know, are dedicated to trolling <laughs> Wings of Redemption, a guy enters the discord claiming to be the neighbor of Wings of Redemption. Okay, uh -huh. turns out this guy has been in, like, what I'll just re blanketly refer to as the whale-watching discord for years. Wings, like, real-life friend from elementary school has been a troll and collecting, like, 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 like stabbing him in no. the back for years wait, wait, now. Wait. Now, that guy goes in there talking to these trolls, right? And these, these are not just like just trolls that are in this discord. These guys are the owners of massive YouTube channels dedicated to making fun of wings. Like the entire YouTube channel is dedicated to making fun of wings. Let me lay this out. Yeah, there. Yeah, you can We're just laying the foundation to where this is headed. So. Some people from the internet, let's just call them that, um, got in contact with Wing's real life friend and said, hey, we'd love to do an interview with you. And, and he's like, hey, I don't want to be part of any, any internet drama. I want to make that known right now. So let's keep the interview to four hours. <laughs> and they have this allegedly four hour conversation. In that conversation, the neighbor right, which they verify is the neighbor, tells them that Wings of Redemption allegedly was making comments about his younger sister. So so Wings is not having this, of course, and, and he yeah, always likes not. to put a good foot forward. So he figured, <laughs> let's do a dual com. So he got that guy and sat him down right next to him in a fucking chair in his house. For those of you who don't know there, I'm trying to nip this in the butt early. A video came out today that said some slanderous things. And it's got my whole family in an uproar because most of it's purity lies. And this is the guy that's going to be in the video. So, like, that guy's yeah. sitting there and it's the most awkward, cringy shit ever. I don't even know how long the video is. I watched five minutes of it because there's a part where, like, this dude who does not like wings and has this, like, weird... Thing that has happened between them is sitting next to him in his house and wings is like hang on a minute i'm gonna call mama taylor doesn't want to be recorded so my mother's gonna call Can, uh, hey you're being right recorded now. right now mama so mama did i ever did I ever diddle my sister and she's like no of course not like Larry said I did or whatever and she's like Larry why'd you say that I was taken out of context they was asking about a whole other thing and they edited it and they removed it I'm I'm attempting to right I'm attempting to they they clipped a whole bunch of things that were said over four hours out of context to make this video then the fucking neighbor comes out with a different video he uploads to YouTube a YouTube short and he goes um I just want everyone to know what I said in this interview was 100% false. Hello, my name is Aaron, and I'd like to say that I'm doing this on my own accord. Everything that I said about Jordy and his family was lies. I lied through my teeth. It was wrong of me to do. I shouldn't have done it. Here's what happened. Wings at one point, being the uncouth motherfucker he is, <laughs> said to his sister, hey, you've got some feminine odor that you need to take care of. That hurt her feelings. She told mom. The mom was like, hey, you can't say that. And he's like, 
we're all living here together and it smells. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Boys, that I is mean... the that is it. That is it. That's all what right? he did. This isn't even the first time these allegations have been made against Jordy. It was only six months prior that Wings dealt with issues related to fake TikTok accounts being made under his name. What was the police thing? Um, I had police show up to my fucking house an hour and a half ago, almost two hours ago, stating I was harassing somebody from fucking Missouri on TikTok. What that say? Ha ha ha, you mad? Coming for that kid, coming for that kid. I don't play about my children. This is his profile. So if you guys can, please go report him. Go blow his stuff up. This man is kidnapping children. Wait, so did the police show up to your trailer and go, yes, they're doing an IP pull on the TikTok account. If it's mine, I go to jail. If it's not, whoever's account it is is probably going to jail. He goes, TikTok doesn't give out IPs, dude. I go, I don't have a TikTok at all, so I'm not worried about that front. TikTok can be made to give out IP addresses by the police. On TikTok, getting cops called on me. There, you know, I got, I got, a, I got an entire 250,000 viewer podcast that wants to talk shit about me every fucking week. My life's just fucking peachy. I don't give a fuck, dude. All I want to do is make a little bit of my fucking money, pay my bills, and and wait till the time that I no longer have to do this. The sad reality for Wings Redemption is that he's probably going to be trolled for as long as he remains on the internet. I know Mr. Jordan hasn't got the best track record for accepting advice, but his history of saying the most outlandish things is never going to be forgotten. So if he plans on streaming for the foreseeable future, it would be great to see him play along with the memes and not take his streams too seriously. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And as Wing says, either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. Oh, and if you like this video, you might like some of my other content. Check it out.